Hi, my name is Matthew Diesner. I'm a regional manager with the Wireless Telecom Group, the Test and Measurement Division, Luton and Noisecom. The topic of today's video is going to be how to use peak power sensors, RF sensors, to capture and look at pulse signals going through an amplifier and determining the propagation delay. This is an important topic now these days with distributed antenna systems where we're doing active and passive DAS, where you're taking an electrical signal, converting it to an optical signal, and back to an electrical signal. Amplifier delays can then become cumulative, causing issues in your signal distribution. So what we're going to look at on this display here, we're going to use our demo aid today, which is a 14 dB amplifier. We have a 2.5 gigahertz pulsed signal, and we're going to look at the delay caused by the amplifier. What I've done in the setup, as we look on the user interface here, is that I've already calibrated out the signal trigger delay. I'm using channel one as the master, channel two as my slave, and when we zoomed in on this, we found out that we had a 38.4 nanosecond delay. As we look at the signal, I start zooming in on this signal. I get down to the five nanosecond per division. And as I look to see here, I can actually see separation of my pulse signal. Channel one being the yellow, the output of the amplifier in the blue. And if we pick our, take our cursor and pick a reference point on one of the graticals, which I'm gonna pick right here and place cursor number two, we come over to our marker measurements and we find out we have a one nanosecond delay. What's being highlighted here is the real-time power processing of our sensor, the 100,000 measurements per second, our superior rise time capability, in this case it is sub three nanosecond rise time, and our trigger stability. As you notice, I'm triggering off of this waveform and we have a 100 picosecond trigger jitter. So in summary, using peak power sensors is a nice way to determine propagation delay through any type of amplifier system. So please visit our website at booten.com to pick up some more relative information as we develop some notes on this particular application. I thank you very much and have a great day.